Good Friday morning, everybody, live and direct from House Onik in Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We've got a very quiet start again to the morning. We don't have a lot going on immediately, and honestly, not a lot going on into the rest of the weekend. We're going to be seeing again the possibility of some more showers coming up on Sunday. Not a great chance, but at least we'll have them out there, and we'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Getting things started on the way to work for this morning, we do have again the possibility of a few slowdowns out there. We'll take a look at traffic coming up here in just a little bit. And if you have any questions about the forecast, we'll try to answer those as we go along into the course of the rest of the morning. But otherwise, not doing too bad out there for right now. And again, much of the area bathed in sunlight. Nice to see for a while. Again, that's going to be seeing that sticking around for about the entire rest of the weekend as we have a new cold front heading our way, which may be giving us again the possibility of some problems with showers Saturday night into Sunday. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. In case you haven't noticed, the fur ball on my lap here would not want to uh, get the uh, forecast done without Marlo, the official weather dog of House Onik for this morning. And showing again a little bit of some current conditions out there with some very chilly numbers across much of the Mid-South from what it looks like at this time. And numbers again throughout the rest of the day should be pretty nice, but not doing too bad, at least for the time being. A little bit on the cooler side today, thanks to that cold front that rolled through the area yesterday. Welcome to everybody on Periscope, Twitter, and now on my Facebook page, tuning in uh, for this morning. Again, looking at some pretty quiet conditions out across uh, much of the Mid-South for right now. And again, for those of you who have been wondering, again, Marlo joining us uh, for this morning for just a little bit at least anyway. And again, if you haven't made one of these for your dog, old sock with a water bottle in it. And this is one of the most favorite shoe toys that this dog has ever used. And forget about buying anything else. This thing works pretty well uh, just to keep things going for, again, making certain that, you, that your dog is uh, well occupied for the time being. So something to think about there. Much of what we're seeing again into the course of the rest of the day today is going to be, again, decent amounts of sunshine out across the Mid-South. We don't have a lot going on where it comes to anything involving a lot of plenty of rainfall out there. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on uh, this morning with our cameras out across the Mid-South. And so far, again, seeing uh, not much of anything in the way of major amounts of problems with cloud cover. And it looks like we're having some issues with our cameras so far this morning. There we go. At least we got Germantown out there for this morning. Uh, Germantown City Hall camera showing again plenty of sunshine, some haze on the horizon, and pretty close to what we usually see at this time of the morning. Pollutants usually have a habit of settling down into around the lower sections of the atmosphere. So we do see, again, some of that going on across some portions of the area into the rest of the morning. So what we're seeing here is pretty typical. Trying Facebook once again, if you are just joining us, uh, looking again at some fairly sunny conditions out across much of the area right now, and not seeing anything in the way of major problems around Windyke Country Club in and around southeast Memphis at this time. More of our weather bug cameras available, again, at wreg.com slash webcams. Radar at this time is complete and total clean sweep. We're not seeing anything across the the Mid-South in the way of chances for rainfall. Yes, I'm talking to you too. Thank you very much. Numbers again throughout the rest of the day should be dry for the most part, but we may be seeing some more rain chances into the weekend. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little while. Tropics at this point, nothing going on. Rena was a storm back up into the North Atlantic. Nothing showing up at this point in time, so definitely good news on that. Taking a look at traffic, everything is moving along a lot better than usual at this time of the morning. Veterans Day holiday probably has, uh, the Veterans Day holiday observed probably has a lot of people off work for today, so probably not seeing again as much in the way of traffic as we usually do at this time of the morning, so definitely good news on that. Again, the usual slowdowns around Poplar Avenue, Highway 72, showing again some slowdowns in and around. Uh, portions of the area, about 27 miles per hour going into work there. The usual slowdowns, it looks like outbound traffic is pretty slow going away from Memphis on Highway 78, uh, I-22 as well, 18 miles per hour around Holmes Road into that area. But traffic on uh, Germantown Parkway at I-40, usually a parking lot at this time, is moving along pretty well, so not seeing too much of any major concerns there. Air quality in the Mid-South, things are decently quiet for right now. 
Uh, air quality is green, which means good across much of the area. Uh, looking good into around Marion, Arkansas. Also at the Shelby Farms reporting station. Again, we've got an AQI of 29. That's very good air quality. And an air quality index of 38 in Hernando at Mississippi. So we are seeing, again, at least a little bit of some good air quality there. Not quite so good air quality across the pond back into around portions of India and Pakistan for this morning. We are seeing, again, some pretty ugly conditions into that area of location, but not doing too bad across much of the United States, so good news on that. Rest of the area, again, we've got some very chilly conditions on the fourth rock from the sun, a high temperature on Tuesday on Mars at the Remote Environmental Monitoring Station of 11.2 degrees below zero, and that was the high temperature for Mars on Tuesday at the recording station there. Ground temperature got up to a balmy 14 degrees above zero, so a little bit on the uh, chilly side there. And numbers again across much of the Mid South, comparatively a lot warmer. If you'd like to see more about this, all you have to do is go to the Jet Propulsion Laboratory website for Mars and the science mission going on there. JPL, great place to go to for science and information. And all you have to do is go to mars.nasa.gov for more information and tons of detailed information there at this point. Earthquakes in the Mid South, nothing to talk about at this time. We've got very quiet conditions out there and hopefully remaining that way. New Madrid Fault is decent quiet. More information from the Center for Earthquake for Research and Information at the University of Memphis. Webcams across the Mid-South. got tons to take a look at, and all you have to do is go to wrhe.com slash webcams if you'd like to see more about what's going on in the Mid-South with several of our webcams available out there. All you have to do is just take a look around at wrhg.com slash webcams. Cold front? What cold front? You wouldn't see too much of anything. Yes, I'm talking to you right now. It's showing again uh, the area in concern back into around the Mid-South with that cold front passing through the area last night. Did a very good job of making its way down toward the Gulf of Mexico. And as it did, it does again show again a very dry air coming in. Some snow showers up around the Great Lakes. Really not much more than that at this time, so good news on that for us. But other Otherwise, nothing showing up in the way of major problems for the Mid-South where it comes to anything involving the amount of snow or rain or anything else. For now, as we go into the weekend, that could be a bit of a problem. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Here's what it looks like for our forecast into the course of the next couple of days. Again, if you are going to be traveling today, no need for the umbrella, and high temperatures will be chilly out there back into the upper 40s to round about the lower 50s. Winds for today throughout the rest of the afternoon out of the northeast at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. So again, we see less of anything in the way of major amounts of problems going on for the Mid-South area at this point. So much of what we're seeing is going to be a cool, dry day out across the area and no problems at all for right now, but a little bit on the chilly side. For tonight, heading out to Friday night football, t no rainfall expected, but temperatures around kickoff, this is going to be one of the colder nights of the year as we start to round out some of the seasons. I understand we're into a regional playoffs at this point in time. So temperatures will be back in the lower 40s by the time the ball kicks off tonight. Winds will be breezy a bit at times, northeast at 5 to 10, and that means the wind chills by the time the games get going will be back into the upper 30s to the lower to mid 40s around areas north of I-40. So please keep that in mind. Veterans Day tomorrow. Thank you to all the veterans for serving. And if you see anybody out there wearing the uniform or you know has served in the military, please tell them a hearty thank you to make certain that you know, we express our gratitude for what they have done before. Highs on Veterans Day in the upper 50s to the mid-60s down to the south of I-40. Chances of rain really don't start to show up until late in the evening on Saturday and then only up into parts of northeast Arkansas and the Boot Hill. Overnight, that chance of rain begins to spread its way down toward the south and we see cool temperatures on Sunday. Highs in the upper 50s to the lower 60s and chances for rainfall pretty much across all the area, but that rain chance won't last. By the time we get into dinner time Saturday or Sunday night, everything is basically gone, and low temperatures Sunday night will be back in the lower to mid 40s across much of the area. High temperatures on Monday, quite pleasant back in the lower to mid 60s. Updates on my forecast available at wr at uh, face at wreg.com slash weather, also at facebook.com slash austinonic wreg, also at twitter.com. If you're watching on there, thank you very much. Aonic underscore w 
WREG3. You can also watch me on Periscope, which hopefully some of you, well, one person is doing right now anyway. And if you can't catch us on the air on AM730, join us on TalkbackLiveNetwork.org. Bob and Josh will talk more about sports and news around the Mid-South area, but mostly sports, and they do have, a, again, a great array of guests coming up. And if you'd like to see a little bit more about what they do, and listen in AM 730 uh, on the radio or talkbacklivenetwork.org, and you can follow along with what's going on there. Also, don't forget to follow me on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations. I'll be on there throughout the rest of the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 if you'd like to see a little bit more about what the weather's doing there. If you can't watch on the computer or on TV and you're on the go, tune us in and check out the News Channel 3 forecast, and we'll keep you updated on that. That'll do it for this edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Marlo the Weather Dog and I thank you for joining us for this morning. We'll have more details on the rest of your forecast again throughout the rest of the day. Todd Demers on with Live at 9, News Channel 3 at noon. Jim Jagger's forecast coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. And of course, I'll be on all weekend long if you'd like to check out the forecast with me on News Channel 3. You want to wave goodbye to everybody? Okay, thank you very much. Thanks to everybody for joining us, and stay tuned for more coming up with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of Friday and into the holiday weekend. You done?